What's going on, Van the Man McNeil? We are in Franklin at the Gift of Wings store with our friend Scott Fisher to talk about drones and hoverboards. Hoverboards are in the news lately, Scott. They certainly are. Uh, are they safe? They are safe. They are. But you have to be smart when you buy a hoverboard. Some things that we have to look out for. First thing is, are they certified? You have to look on the bottom of the board and make sure that you have two ratings. Okay. We want a CE rating that, that'll be on the bottom and an FCC rating. Very, very important. Um, we also want to make sure that we have the proper batteries, either LG or Samsung batteries. Mm -hmm. Anything that's certified is going to have one of those two batteries. All right, we've taken it outside. Van the Man McNeil, our buddy <laughs> Scott Fisher here at Gift of Wings. We're having some fun at his Franklin store just off of Highway 100. Right. The big boy. What yeah. is this one called again? This one's called the Hubson X4. Drone. There's some common sense tips that you want to uh, apply before purchasing a drone. Well, there really is. I mean, besides besides the fact that if your drone is over a half a pound, you need to register it with the FAA online on their website. Uh, there's some there's some common sense things, and there's some things the FAA says that you must comply with. The first is when any size drone, even the little ones, you don't need to register the small ones, but. But the little drones, you want to make sure. When you get into a big drone like this one, which which weighs about four or five pounds, um, you need to stay out of the airspace. You need to stay below 400 feet. Hence the registration, the of, registration your drone, right? of your drone. You need to stay at least five miles away from an airport with a control tower like Mitchell or Timmerman. Mm -hmm. um, you need to not fl fly your, your drone over large groups of people outside. So you don't want to be flying this over Miller Park on a game day. So you want to be careful, you want to follow the rules, and you want to use common sense. The hub's in here. How much does this bad boy cost? This one sells for nine hundred dollars. Nine hundred bucks. That yeah. you know what? It, I I expected a little higher on well, the price there. The little higher higher one is the Hubson X4 Pro Deluxe. Oh, okay. If people wanted more information, maybe they didn't get their drone from here at Gift of Wings, but you'll certainly help them out. We uh, certainly will. Yeah. Yes. Um, we, we at Gift of Wings, we're now known as. The drone zone. <laughs> a drone zone here <laughs> in uh, Greendale, or uh, in Franklin, and then uh, the in other Greendale, one in Greendale. Yeah. So folks can bring in their drone, we can take a look at it uh, and give them some advice mm -hmm. on what they need to do. We're trying to bring in parts for other drones that we don't handle. Okay. Uh, but we certainly have uh, propellers and, and batteries and other things that we'll be selling uh, to folks that buy drones from us.